I get a lot of complaints from some of the viewers and I've had these complaints I've heard them over the years about poor construction you know quality control and all that and here's a good example of what uh, basically they would be talking about and it's a gutter downspout and as you can see here that I don't know if the I don't know if the construction worker who assembled this thing wanted it to actually drain onto the concrete but it doesn't look like it's going to make it if you can look there's a gap there and it looks like all the water unless it was really coming out of there is going to make it to the concrete and of course this is on this is back basically in a sloping area at the top of a slope top of a hill kind of a thing so any water that's going to be rolling onto the soil there eventually is going to cause an erosion problem so it's kind of hard to tell where they wanted the uh, water to drain here or if this gutter was uh, simply aesthetic it's just there for a decoration but these are things that we are going to run into as property owners and should be aware of and of course that is uh, when the job is complete especially something like this that it's actually functionable as far as I'm concerned uh, you could have just ran the gutter downspout straight down and even just turned it into the um, soil there as far as what it what it is here so if you're going to build something do it right if you're going to inspect a property look for things like these and then get them repaired or try to find out what the site drainage plan actually is if there is a plan and if there isn't a plan then it wouldn't be a bad idea to create one because this thing right here and again i don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill you know something like this if it was in an area where it rained a lot could be a bigger problem than sunny southern california where it doesn't rain that often um, but either way i've got to say it is a problem the next thing i'd like to point out is the other drain and here you get a clear view of how the roof um, gutters are actually working what they're draining into and uh, so forth but if you look at the other downspout and you think god this is in a great spot it's actually draining onto the concrete well it it's it is but it could be creating a problem for anyone who's planning on walking up this sidewalk um, during uh, when it's raining i mean let's face it if you have a gutter that's dumping into an area a gutter downspout that's dumping into a walkway an exterior walkway a sidewalk a set of stairs uh, a porch a deck anything then uh, it could become a problem now here's here's the big deal with things like these you know an architect a designer comes in the contractor they do something like this and then you know a, a few weeks later it rains and someone walks up and down here and they don't really do anything about it they never fix it you know and ends up being a big problem for years until finally someone gets tired of it or actually uh, you know becomes injured from something like this and then of course it becomes a nightmare so planning site drainage might not seem like a big deal and it actually might not be a big deal in areas where it doesn't rain at all but in areas where it rains areas where you um, have freezing temperatures you know something like this could become a really big problem and again I could go into I can open up a whole can of worms here and provide you with all sorts of problems but uh, the last thing I'd like to point out is just if you could imagine freezing temperatures and uh, a downspout that just continues to place uh, layers upon layers of cold water on top of um, sidewalks like these where the water freezes and uh, the sidewalk becomes slippery um, this is a no-brainer this should tell you that uh, you would have a big problem but again I wouldn't even know where to start or stop if I mentioned all the problems due to freezing temperatures so I will end the video with that thought